guys, welcome back to my channel. If I'm talking a little fast in this video today, it's because my camera's about to die. I have no idea where my like battery charger is. So honestly, I'm just trying to get as many videos as I can out while the battery's still working. But today I'm going to be doing a review on the book Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. So if you're interested in seeing what I liked and did like about it, then just keep on watching. All right, so for anybody who doesn't know, E. Lockhart is a pretty well-known author for her previous book, We Were Liars, which was fantastic. It honestly is one of the better books that I read in 2017. It's incredible. I would highly recommend it if you guys are in the market for like a new book, like literally YA anything. It's just amazing. I love it so much. But anyway, Genuine Fraud is completely different from We Were Liars, which is kind of like a big synopsis. It's basically about this girl, her friend dies, and the friend is like posing as the girl that's dead, and it's just this whole big story. I feel like I can't really explain it without giving spoilers, so if you're not into spoilers, then just don't watch this. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the things that I liked about the book. I'm considering if you're watching this, you've already read the book, so I'm not gonna do too much of a synopsis on it, but one of the things I did like about it was just how original the concept was. I haven't read anything like this personally. I don't know if it's a very well-versed plot that a lot of people do, but for me, like, I haven't read anything like it. The same with We Were Liars. I just feel like as an author, like, she's so original, which I can always appreciate in a writer. Um, something I also liked was I liked how it didn't have a resolution at the end. Like, I don't know what it was about it, but I kind of liked the fact that you couldn't tie up the loose ends. Like, it just kind of left it where you were like, holy shit, like, She's never caught, like is she caught? Like what's going on? Like what happens to the guy that she was seeing? Does he ever find out that she's not, um, what the hell was her name? Imogen, like does she never not find out if she's Imogen or not? Like just as, I just loved that there were just questions after that you couldn't answer. Also something I really liked which kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that like there was no real resolution was the fact that I literally had no idea what was going to happen next in that book throughout the entire book. Like. I was very confused during like reading it, but at the same time, I kind of liked it because I had no idea what was going to happen. Same with We Were Liars, like she's just really good at making like the viewer, not viewer, the reader, like really wonder as to what's going to happen next. Okay, things I didn't like so much about it, the format was so hard to follow, it was really annoying. I felt like I had to reread so many parts because I just felt like I was like, am I actually reading Imogen's part or is like it just what's her name pretending to be Imogen? I was really confused. I just felt like um, it could have been organized a little bit better or maybe not, I, maybe that's what she was going for, but I just felt like a lot of the time, like I had to reread a lot of it just to kind of like, how do I word it? It's not a passive read if that makes sense. Like you can't kind of like lightly read it. Like if you're reading it, you have to like literally read it and pay attention to the details and pay attention to who's speaking, what's going on kind of deal. Um, another thing I didn't like was, especially with the fact that she was calling herself Imogen, it just felt like it was really kind of hard to place who was who, if that makes sense. Another thing I didn't really like about the book, it kind of goes hand in hand with each other, these two things, is I don't believe that the cops were that stupid, and I also don't believe that she could have covered up the scenes as well as she had. First of all, these cops would have had to be dumb as hell for like her to get away with all this stuff, considering that she didn't weigh Imogen's body down at all. Like she killed her and then let her go. I remember rereading it three times because I'm like, did she not weigh the body down like at all? Like it literally made no sense, especially because the cops had said they were like, oh, like the body would have surfaced, bleh, the body would have surfaced by now, which where is the body? I didn't understand that. As well as the same with when she killed the friend, I don't understand how that literally was like, oh, she just got drunk and fell off a hill. Like that didn't make any sense um, as well. Um, I just didn't, like, she literally got away with everything. I felt like that was a little, like, okay, like, it's the protagonist is getting away with everything, but I felt like it would have been a little more realistic if there was almost more, if the cops were smarter, I think. Okay, some other random things. I don't think these were, like, things I didn't like or things I did like, but these are just kind of questions I had after reading the book. If you did read the book, let me know what you guys think, because I'm, like, so stumped as to, like, these, like, parts of the book, but, like, what happened to the guy that the imposter was involved with? Because I swear to God, in one part of the book, he, like his dad is friends with Imogen's dad. So wouldn't he have known that Imogen was dead? Like, I'm so confused by that whole thing. Like, wouldn't he have known that Imogen was dead and he would have been like, okay, wait, but she's dead. Like, how are you calling yourself Imogen? I felt like that whole thing, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, how was the guy so aloof? Same, I also don't understand um, what happened to him. 
like where did he go he literally like it was like this short like i think it was like three pages and then she like he literally just disappeared i was like okay also part of me is wondering if that's what made the police think that imogen was alive like maybe um what's his name i can't remember his name but the guy that the imposter was involved with that thought that it was imogen maybe that's why the police thought he was alive or thought she was alive because he told them that she was but the whole thing just kind of felt like there wasn't the connection made in the book so part of me is wondering i'm like does he even know that she's like dead or not like i was just really really confused by that anyways guys i'm so sorry that this is a little bit more jumbled than my usual reviews i'm literally watching my camera right now and it's literally saying like i am about to shut down like turn off the camera um but i hope you guys enjoyed if you did read the movie if you read the book, let me know what you guys thought. I actually really enjoyed it, but part of me was kind of confused while reading it. So let me know what you guys thought of it, what you guys think, as well as what you think um, about those random things I did add at the end. Um, I'm curious as to what you guys think about, especially the guy that she was involved with and like what was going on with him. But yeah, if you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a like. If you like me, feel free to subscribe and uh, comment any future recommendations on videos or books you want me to read. Literally anything and I will see you guys in the next video.